Welcome to another video from Guitar School Live. In this video you'll learn how easy it is to program the stock FCB 1010 to control everything in the BIAS FX2 guitar software. Let's get started. To program the FCB 1010, we'll be using an editor, since it is the easiest way to program the controller. There are many editors that are both free and for purchase. However, the editor I find the easiest to use is the FCB 1010 Manager by Mountain Utilities. You can find a link to this free editor in the description below. Installation is simple, so there is no need to cover it in this video. When you open the editor, you'll be presented with this screen. The first thing you want to do is make sure your MIDI device is connected to the editor. Click the Options button, then MIDI Devices. From here, choose your MIDI device. After that click View, then Presets. This is where you'll program the FCB 1010 to send MIDI messages. Now you are ready to start programming the controller. Let's set up our first bank. For this tutorial we want pedal 1 to go to preset 3, pedal 2 to go to preset 8, pedal 3 to go to preset 12, pedal 4 to go to preset 16, pedal 5 to go to preset 18. Pedal 6 will control the delay. Pedal 7 will control the reverb. Pedal 8 will control the amp. Pedal 9 will activate the tuner and pedal 10 will activate the wah. The two expression pedals will control the volume and wah. We'll begin by setting up pedals 1 to 5 to send program changes to BIAS FX2. To do this, in the editor, you'll select pedal 1 and place a check in the program change box 1. Enter the number 3 in the text box. Next, we'll program pedal 2 to go to preset 8. In the editor, you'll place a check in the program change box 1 and enter the number 8 in the text box. Next, we'll program pedal 3 to go to preset 12. Same as before, in the editor, you'll place a check in the program change box 1 and enter the number 12 in the text box. Next, we'll program pedal 4 to go to preset 16. Place a check in the program change box 1 and enter the number 16 in the text box. Finally, we'll program pedal 5 to go to preset 18. You'll place a check in the program change box 1 and enter the number 18 in the text box. Now, let's program pedal 6 to 10 to turn things on and off. Since we'll be programming all five buttons exactly the same, there is a quick way to do this without entering each preset individually. In the presets pane, you'll highlight bank 0 preset 6 and drag down to 0 10. Then click enable and select CNT 1. Click enable again and select CNT 2. Click increment. Since we are entering C and T numbers, select C and T1 then controller. Then set controller number that will be used on the first selected preset to the number 6. When you click OK, you will see the numbers change in numerical order from 6 through 10. By default, the value of C and T1 should be 0. If it's not, you'll have to manually change those number to 0. We'll now do the exact same thing for C and T2. Select CNT2 then controller. Then set controller number that will be used on the first selected preset to the number 6. When you click OK you will see the numbers change in numerical order from 6 through 10. If you don't see the numbers, click enable in the menu and select CNT2. Note, by default, the value of CNT2 should be 127. If it's not, you can change it by clicking fix, then CNT2, then value and enter the number 127. Before we exit the editor, double click on pedal 8 and change the value of CNT1 from 0 to 60.
You'll see why we're doing this when we set up the controller with the software. The last thing we need to do is program the expression pedals. First select pedal 1 and drag to pedal 10. Next, click enable and select expression A. Repeat for expression B. Now click fix. Select expression pedal A and click controller. Enter the number 100 and click OK. Expression pedal A is now set. Next click fix. Select expression pedal B and click controller. Enter the number 101 and click OK. Expression pedal B is now set. Now that we are done setting up the bank, let's save it to the FCB 1010. In the next step, we'll transfer the data from the editor to the FCB 1010. But before we begin, you must connect the MIDI in of FCB 1010 to the MIDI out of your audio interface and MIDI out of the FCB 1010 to the MIDI in of the audio interface. Now that we have set up the FCB 1010 in the editor, we need to send the commands from the editor to the controller. In order to transmit the data, we must set up the FCB 1010 to receive it. This is done in three easy steps. First turn the unit off, then hold the down button and turn it back on. Continue holding the down button until the green light on direct select is lit and then release. Next, press the down pedal once to select config. Finally, press the number 7 button to activate the receive mode. Now, you can click the green send data to the FCB 1010 button on the editor. You will get a pop-up notification instructing you to do the three steps we just did. Simply click the OK button and the data will be sent to the controller. The last thing that needs to be done is to save it to the controller. If you do not do this step, the controller will not work. Simply hold the down button until the countdown finishes and the green light goes out. Now your FCB 1010 is ready. Let's set up BIOS FX2 to work with the FCB 1010. This is where the fun begins. In the editor, we set up pedals 1 to 5 to respond to program changes. Without doing anything else, stepping on pedals 1 to 5 will change to the presets we set in the editor. Pedal 1 will go to preset 3. Pedal 2 will go to preset 8. Pedal 3 will go to preset 12. Pedal 4 will go to preset 16. Pedal 5 will go to preset 18. Now let's set up pedal number 6 to turn the delay on and off. Simply tap and hold the control until the MIDI assignment box appears. Tap learn in the power toggle row and step on pedal 6. Now stepping on the pedal will toggle the power. The procedure for setting up pedal 7 to control the reverb is the same as pedal 6. Tap and hold the control until the MIDI assignment box appears. Tap learn in the power toggle row and step on pedal 7. Now stepping on the pedal will toggle the power. When we set up pedal 8 in the editor, we gave it a minimum value of 60 instead of 0 as we did with the other pedals. This was done to show you how you can use the pedal in different ways. Let's say that you play rhythm guitar in a band with the gain on your amp set at about the 11 o'clock dial position. However, when you take a solo, you want the gain to be at its max. But when you're done soloing, you want the gain to go back to the 11 o'clock position. Well, when we set the minimum CC value for pedal 8 to 60, this is now possible. Let's see it in action. Tap and hold the control until the MIDI assignment box appears. Click learn in the gain row and step on pedal 8. Now stepping on the pedal will toggle the knob between 11 o'clock and max gain. Let's use pedal 9 to call up the tuner. First, click the settings menu on the top right corner. Click MIDI setting. 
Click Global MIDI Control Assignment. Scroll to Tuner on Off. Tap Learn and Step on pedal number 9. Now you can activate the tuner when pedal 9 is selected. Before we set up pedal number 10, let's first set up the volume and wah pedals. Simply tap and hold the volume control until the MIDI assignment box appears. Tap Learn in the volume row and step on the right expression pedal. Now the volume pedal will move when the right expression pedal is stepped on. Now let's set up the wah pedal and pedal 10. Tap and hold the wah pedal until the MIDI assignment box appears. Click Learn in the wah row and step on the left expression pedal. Now the wah pedal will move when the left expression pedal is stepped on. Next, click Learn in the power toggle row and step on pedal 10. Now you can toggle the wah power on and off. I hope you enjoyed learning how to program the stock FCB 1010 to work with BIAS FX2 Mobile. Before we end, if you would like to see more videos like this, hit like, then click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you will be notified when new content is released. From all of us at Guitar School Live, we would like to thank you for watching.